वेलकम टू राजेंद्र टंडन वीडियोस इन दिस वीडियो आई टेक अप ए फ्यू प्रॉब्लम्स रिलेटिंग टू आवर आई आई बिगिन विद आई लैशेस विच आर समटाइम्स टर्न आउटवर्ड्स समटाइम्स टर्न इनवर्ड्स दिस इज नॉट नॉर्मल वेन दे आर टर्न आउटवर्ड्स गिव एपिस टू हंड्रेड ए पी आई एस टू हंड्रेड एंड वेन दे आर टर्न इनवर्ड्स यूज बोरेक्स बी ओ आर ए एक्स टू हंड्रेड समटाइम्स यू कैन सी दैट दी आई लैशेज आर ड्रूपिंग देर इज एन इंटेंस डिसलाइक ऑफ लाइट यूज कोनियम सी ओ एन आई यू एम टू हंड्रेड इफ समबडी शेड्स आई लैशेज वी कॉल इट ए लॉस ऑफ आई लैशेज देर इज ब्लेफराइटिस इन द मार्जिन्स देर आर फिशर्स इन द कैंथाई cracking edges give petroleum 30 p e t r o l e u m 30 the second problem relating to the eye i am going to discuss is fistula of the lacrimal duct you know these are ducts next to the nose and away from the nose as well through which the irrigating water from the eyes goes into the throat and is discarded an abnormality in the tear duct is called fistula of the lacrimal duct if it is worse in open air and early morning the eyes are watering use calcarea carb 200 if there is a sensation as if a wind is blowing through the eyes it's a peculiar sensation you can't miss it if it is there give fluoric acid 200 f l u o r i c 200 in these cases there will be a swelling in the bone above the nose and between the eyes and a violent itching in the inner canthai chronic cases of fistula require fluoric acid 200 let me tell you that it is not always possible to stop watering in the eyes because sometimes the tear ducts are closed permanently one need not go for surgery because it's going to be very uncomfortable it's better to use a soft tissue kerchief and go on wiping the water which has not gone through into the mouth foreign body in the eye is uncomfortable inconvenient A speck of dust can cause irritation and discomfort. The eyes water and smart. Do not rub. First principle: Do not rub. It will injure the eye. Clear the foreign body gently with soft, wet cotton or the wet corner of a clean handkerchief. In an accident caused by in a factory or by a spray of chemical into the eye seek urgent medical help the first aid in such cases consists of washing the eye with running clean water or by dipping the head with lids forcibly open into a bucket of water for medicines take care of the injury and consequent pain and pus formation by administering arnica 200 a r n i c a 200 another medicine that comes handy is hypericum 200 continue this until the pain disappears it's a medicine for nerves it looks after injury to the nerves of the eye 
excellent medicine. Let us discuss glaucoma, a progressive loss of vision with increased pressure inside the eyeball. It mostly affects persons above 40. If no recovery takes place in the initial stages, the damage is, I'm sorry to say, so, irreversible. Seek medical help as early as possible. The symptoms are severe pressure inside the eye, acute pain, blurred vision, rapid deterioration of the vision, nausea, vomit due to severe pain. At night, the patient sees colorful halos around a source of light. His eyes are red, watering. Mild attacks precede a severe attack. Now, these symptoms are such which can't be ignored. Use homeopathic medicines, but consult an ophthalmologist. With iridescent vision, rainbow-like halos around light, green halo, a patient requires osmium-30, O-S-M-I-U-M-30 for violent supraorbital and infraorbital neuralgia too, we give osmium-30. If the objects look red, mark the word red, comma, often blue in the field of vision, sometimes there is momentary blindness as if from fainting, administer phosphorus-200 and see the result. There can be gout in the eyes. It's a painful inflammation of the joints, sometimes spreading to the eye. There is violent pain in the eyeballs preceding glaucoma. And it's better on pressure. Not very common, but it is there. Administer colosynthes, C-O-L-O-C-Y-N-T-H-I-S, 200. You would get relief. The last item on the menu today is hemorrhages, rupture of a blood vessel in the retina or anywhere else in the eye. Kindly consult an ophthalmologist without delay. Don't take it easy. Use the medicines as recommended as palliatives only. The symptoms are floaters in the eye in minor episodes, sudden loss of vision in major episodes. Any bleeding from any part of the body is serious, particularly eye. Conjectival hemorrhage into the retina resulting in day blindness requires Bothrops, B-O-T-H-R-O-P-S 30. A retinal non-inflammatory hemorrhage requires Crotalus, C-R-O-T-A-L-U-S-30, it is below the conjunctiva. There is ciliary neuralgia, there is pain, the patient dislikes light. As stated above, rush, consult an ophthalmic surgeon, don't delay, it's a serious situation. It can lead to blindness. Please listen to what I have said carefully. Select the medicine according to the symptoms as indicated. In most of the cases, a patient would get relief. Thank you for visiting this site and listening to me. We meet again.